Welcome back to the Construct 2 tutorial to create a breakout clone. This is the 12th and final part for reals this time. Okay, at the end of last time, we set up the win and lose conditions, but the lose event didn't trigger. The reason is, the ball doesn't automatically destroy itself when it goes outside the layout. So what I needed to do was go to ball, edit the behaviors, and add a new behavior, the destroy outside layout. In that case, I can lose with the greatest of ease. Alright, now just to make sure this fits in the allotted time, I did a little bit of cheating and added some stuff in in the break. First, if you go over to your power-up, you need to add the other power-ups. I really wanted to add all the paddle power-ups. So I added six new animations, a uh, small paddle, large, a uh, normal paddle, large paddle, laser paddle, and beam paddle, and my favorite of all, I added a multi-ball power-up. And we'll see all those in action shortly. After adding the animation, remember how you wrote down the names. And then we need to add that to our Power Up Names Array. So, on the start of Layout Event, I added six new events, adding each one of those to the list of available Power Ups. And one of those will randomly be selected when a Power Up spawns. Next, we want those Power Ups to activate when the paddle collides with them. So, and a lot of copy-paste and just name typing. We had done this for the balls already. Next, we wanted to do them for the paddle. So, uh, five new events here. One, two, three, four, five. And these correspond to changing the animation of the paddle. It's one of these five possibilities. Remember, each one of these names, small, normal, large, laser, beam, corresponds to the name of one of the animations, or single frame animations, I guess I should say images, of the paddle. And then, the multi-ball, and one of my favorites, whenever the paddle collides with a power-up, which is at the multi-ball animation, I'm going to create a ball, I'm going to destroy the power-up. In fact, I'm going to have each ball create a ball. Uh, one more thing I need to do here, remember by default my balls don't actually move, so what I'd like to do is say, uh, ball, I need to set its speed to 200, just like the first ball. And ball, I'm going to set its gravity as well. Make sure it doesn't get stuck bouncing in a funny way. Set gravity to 3. Let's move that over there. And that should be everything we need to play a game. So, alright, let's have some fun now. Press play. Our power-ups are going to come out like crazy because of that high percentage that I typed in. But you can change that later. Right, click to start. Let's test the lose condition. Hey, hey, I lost. Yay, it works. Press R to restart. Okay, click. See if I can beat this game the amount of time I have left. Ooh, multi-ball. Ooh, beam. And like I said, the power-ups are a little bit overpowered right now, but that's okay. You might want to set a limit to the number of multi-balls you can get. This is a little bit crazy. But I should win pretty quick. Oh, you know what? There are still bricks sitting around outside the layout. Okay, let's fix this and then be done. Still have a minute or so left. Uh, brick. Remember when I set up the layout? I set these up to edit my tile map. I need to add a behavior, destroy outside layout. It's the same problem I had when the balls left the layout as well. Let's also add into the event sheet, um, this will only occur if, add another condition, system, uh, compare two values, the ball count, uh, let's see, ball count is less than, say, 16. Anything bigger is just going to drag down your system performance. All right, one more time. I've had a lot of fun doing this. You believe you've been listening to these for an hour? Crazy. Ooh. Through ball. And I really want another through ball power up. Just hoping to end this game quick. Oh, one more. Come on, we can do this. Can we do this? If not, it's been fun. Yes! Have a great day.